It's time for our seen and unseen segment where we expose the cultural stories of the day. And for that, we turn to Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. All right, Raymond, it was a bizarre day on Capitol Hill. It was, Laura. Look, I think Hunter Biden's stunt appearance brought out the worst in everybody. After refusing to comply with those two subpoenas, he suddenly showed up and there was chaos in the chamber. Then it was like every member of the House had binge watched Hunter Biden's laptop. Suddenly, they were all pornographic, speaking pornography. Uh, NIH really should send some soap up there for their mouths. You are the epitome of white privilege, ignoring a congressional subpoena to be deposed. What are you afraid of? You have no balls. She is a person that showed nude photos of Hunter Biden in this very committee room, showing, showing pics in this committee room uh, of, of Hunter Biden. Let's talk about the fact that President Trump incited an erection. Uh, and, and <laughs> maybe that too. <laughs> Laura, these are some dirty-minded people. That's all I can say. Really, I mean, mm, no. they can't no. help themselves. I mean, I, I, I don't know. It, to me, the whole thing was just... But, but look, it's all they have. They, the, the administration has stunts. Mm. Everything's white supremacist. You know, Donald Trump's against him. No, no election will ever be held again if Donald Trump wins. It's all yeah, they but, have is stunts. But, you know, with, with all due respect to Chairman Comer, he should have, when he saw Hunter come into the, the committee Remove room, him. he should have had the Capitol Police seal the doors. They should have sworn in the witness, and they should have grilled him about why he has denied these two subpoena requests. He, 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 to let him come in and leave, that, that stunt should never have happened. But, Laura, Hunter fever seemed to spread even to reporters. As Hunter Biden left the hearing room, one reporter did his best to crack the story or get the story on crack. What kind of crack do you normally smoke, Mr. Biden? Let me start again. Hunter Biden was and is a private citizen. But despite this, Republicans have use. sought to use him as a surrogate to attack his father. Hunter, what's your favorite type of crack? Are you on crack today? <laughs> well, <laughs> Chasing down the big stories. That's all I can I didn't, say. Well, well, it is kind of a circus. Now there's a new report on his art sales, Raymond, yes. which we've been fascinated by. This great works of art. Mm -hmm. House investigators have uncovered that the majority of the purchases were made by shocker Democratic donors. Well, but George Burgess, the Hunter's art dealer, told the investigators in the House that the majority of the art sales, $875,000 worth, came from one entertainment lawyer and a friend of Hunter and, as you mentioned, a Democratic donor. That's a lot of money for a canvas full of inky spittle. But I guess if it's Hunter's spittle, maybe it's worth that kind of cash. But I don't well, see it. <laughs> it's just like, it's kind of like the work, the work he did for that Chinese energy interest. It's sham. It's sham work. Yeah. And this is sham work. All right, well, Sam's Laura, it's we also, I mean, this isn't exactly John Singer Sargent. I mean, this is clearly paying for the influence in the Biden name. Now, people pay for influence and yeah. in paintings from uh, famous people all the time. But this one, right. while the president's in office, it looks really bad. Um, all right, but Raymond, last, yeah, go ahead. Wait, what happened? We covered uh, the Biden's des des desperate disappearance at that black church in South Carolina. Right. He's polling abysmal with black voters. Now he's lost Charlemagne the God. Ooh. We all can get burned, you know, by politicians. When my listeners feel like he didn't deliver, they come back to me and they say, hey, man, you're the one who told us to vote for, uh, you know, Joe Biden. You're the one who told us to vote for Kamala Harris. So President Biden historically has been a, a lack of lack of a better word, a elected official. Mm. You know, uh, Laura, the black community is running from Biden faster than they ran from Mitt Romney, OK? 25 percent drop in support from the last election to the most recent polls. And you know why? Substance matters in the black community. When crime is going up, inflation is eating them, and migrants are moving well, into we'll, their we'll neighborhood see. and taking those, those uh, city funds, people notice. That's what this is about. Laura, I have a Fox News alert, and I'm glad you're sitting down for this one. I'm so sorry to report after 17 seasons as head coach at the University of Alabama, Nick Saban did this. is calling it quits. Well, I'm doing it for you now. And I'm doing it because it's really, I want to make sure you're okay. I mean, we did this the at the beginning salt. of the show. Well, first of all, I got the news that I'm in the car coming to the studio. And did I was already just shocking, shocking to everybody. I was a little late. Okay. <laughs> Horrible traffic. And then I see these messages coming up, one after the other, after the other. 
And the thing that I realize is my friend David Upton said to me this morning that he saw Saban somewhere or some, and that he was in a great mood. Mm. And, you know, he's not one to sort of, he's, well, sometimes he doesn't smile a lot, right? And they, and they lost the, uh, the game against Michigan, so you'd think maybe yes. he's kind of, but he's just enjoying, you know, time with his family, and, and he has a great wife who's fantastic. She smiles a lot. Well, Laura, and he's I mean, just happy. That but he's a great, one of the greatest incredible. coaches of all time. Of yeah, I mean, he matched, time. he matched Bear Bryant in six national championships for Alabama and, of course, the one Seven. with LSU. He's the winningest coach in college football. He deserved his retirement, didn't he? God well, bless him. Well, 297 wins, Raymond. Pretty and incredible. Four Heisman Trophy winners, 10 SEC championships. I was at the last SEC championship and seven, uh, seven national titles. Nick Saban, one of the greats. I agree. Thank you. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.